Have you ever wondered why ventricular repolarization, an opposite electrical event of depolarization, has the same electrical direction? So understanding why the T wave generally points in the same direction as the QRS under normal circumstances is both cool uh, and can help you predict some abnormal states. So here's a heart. And before we um, talk about kind of what goes on inside of it, let's just remember real quick how we even get these squigglies on a paper, which is that uh, we stick these electrodes on the chest. So on the right shoulder, there's a negative electrode as part of the sticker and the leg uh, limb lead has a positive electrode here that helps to create this direction of downwards to the left that we call lead two. Uh, but the way we actually get the output is that the wires go into the machine and inside the machine, there is essentially a voltmeter which looks for electrical fields that sort of align in this direction of negative to positive, in which case it will read out uh, sort of a positive deflection. And if there's an opposite um, electrical field pointing from negative to positive in this lead, it will read out a negative deflection. And that's how we get sort of the directions on the EKG. So normally the his Purkinje system is used to depolarize the ventricles, and the His bundles actually lie just under the endocardium, on the inside of the sort of thickness of the, of the meat of the muscles, and they go off really fast, and the actual meat of the ventricles ends up depolarizing more or less at the same time from endocardium to epicardium thickness-wise. But let's zoom in, zoom in a little bit Let's take this little chunk of muscle and blow it up. And we're gonna pretend like the thickness of the left ventricle here, um, endocardium to epicardium, here's the lead to negative electro, positive electrode. Let's pretend like the thickness is only four cells or five cells thick. Okay, it's a very big assumption here. And let's remember that under, um, in the resting potential, so here's a P wave, here's a PR segment, okay? A flat line, under resting potential, the inside of the cells are negative, and the outside of the cells are positive. And at rest, the reason the voltmeter isn't detecting anything, neither positive nor negative, is because it can only see the extracellular fluid. Remember the cell membrane, the lipid bilayer, it's actually electrically impermeable, right? So the only thing that our electrodes can, can detect is what's going on in the extracellular fluid, and right now, everything extracellular is positive, so there's no electrical field pointing in any direction. But when we start depolarizing from endocardium to epicardium, these subendocardial cells depolarize first. The sodium rushes in, the inside of the cells turns relatively positive while the outside of the cells becomes relatively negative. And suddenly in that moment, mid depolarization, there's a gradient, negative to positive, and that's what leads to the positive deflection of QRS. Then the rest of the ventricular thickness depolarizes and catches up. So everything outside is negative, everything outside is positive. And once again, the only thing that the electrodes can see is the extracellular space and it's all negative, no electrical field. And that's why we once again have a flat line. We once again have, a, have an isoelectric um, ST segment. And this is where it becomes, um, it comes back to the original question of why is the subsequent repolarization that follows a positive electrical event? You would think that if the cells that depolarize first, if they repolarize first, then you'd have an opposite pointing current, but you don't. 
And the reason for that is there, that there's a unique difference um, between the endocardium and epicardium such that even though the subepicardial cells depolarized last, they repolarize first. They have a shorter kind of um, period to repolarization. So the sodium potassium pump works and you reestablish um, um, the resting potential earlier out here, the inside becomes negative, the outside becomes positive again, such that once again, mid repolarization, you have that same direction of negative to positive, aligning with lead two and resulting in a positive T wave.